Enough is enough. That's what residents are saying in and around the James Casey homes after another life was taken in the community this week. News Channel 5's Kimberly Davis is live there now and Kimberly, they want and need a change. Vicki, that's right. Residents and neighbors are telling me they are just tired of the crime. Just two days ago, another teen lost her life here on this property and neighbors tell me something needs to be done. And like I said, I stay on the corner. I heard it when it happened. The gunfire that could be heard across an entire community. I'm sitting outside and I said right on top of the hill. I said I already knew where it was at. The shots that took the life of 19 year old Vestoria Lucas and nearby residents say enough is enough. If you live like a savage, you're going you're gonna to act like a savage. That's just my theory. Bartholomew Jackson has called Nashville home for seven years and says he has watched the area crumble and it leads him to believe government officials should be doing more. It's, it's, it's bad to say, but sometimes I feel like they don't care. Our priority is our families, but MDHA says that's just not true and we want our families to feel safe here and we want our kids to be able to get out and play and feel safe playing outside. The James Casey Homes is in a transition called the Envision Casey Project, a project that is moving residents into new housing that should cut down on crime and keep residents safer. If they come in and, and they start is talking about who they are in music, then it'll change who they are and they add but one local community activist says she thinks there's another reason for the problem. It's about poverty out here. It's about low income out here. It's about no opportunities, no programs, and no outings for us. Clemmie Greeley started Nashville Peacemakers back in 2003 after she lost her only son to gun violence. Now she's opening a recording studio to get youth off the streets. Off the street, make a beat. That's some guns and some young men that's not going to be kicking in your doors. They're going to be in here kicking in his mic. And Grinley hopes that her work can save another mother from feeling the pain of losing a child. We care about us burying our children. If you want that crime down over there, you start hiring some people that look like them. Now, phase one of Envision Casey will begin moving residents into new housing in either May or June. Now, these are a look at some of the images from phase two. MDHA tells us they will break ground this fall. The new homes will have surveillance video, key fob entry, and fewer places for someone to try and hide. And they are very encouraged that this will cut down some of the crime. For now, we are live in East Nashville. I'm Kimberly Davis, News Channel 5.